Hey guys, welcome to another Divi Engine quick tip for you. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Divi Mobile plugin. And especially when you've taken the time to build out that Divi Mobile header in the Divi theme builder here. Now, one of the quirks when you do that is that when you put multiple columns in that header, you get this funky layout issue. And what's happening here is that these two columns are stacking on top of each other. And that's most evident here when you look at these two. If I go out of my mobile view, you can see column one and two are set neatly right next to each other, but in mobile view, they're stacked on top of each other. And today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that when using the theme builder and the V-Mobile together. So let's take a look. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kick things off here in the Divi theme builder. And I've got my layout here. If we go into the visual view, you can see that one of the headers is um, only for mobile and the other one is for desktop. Very easy, right? So I'm gonna go into module view so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. And here is my mobile header. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another module and I'm gonna type in stop. And now you do have to have Divi Mobile installed for this. And you just use our stop module stacking. Very simple, you can do it in either of the columns and you don't need to configure it, nothing. You're just gonna click okay, you're gonna save this. And now we can go to the front end and see what that has done. So let me refresh the page. And just like that, folks, you have your Divi mobile header looking fantastic. Now it's not going anywhere. It works perfectly. And that is pure awesomeness. Now as a bonus addition here, I wanna show you one more thing, that when you have Divi Mobile, you've got even more superpowers at your fingertips. Let me go ahead and edit this page really quick in the visual builder. And I'm gonna show you that you can use this stop stacking module, not just for your mobile header, but also on your general layouts. So with this loaded up right here, this is editing that page. I'm just gonna put in the stop stacking module in this row and it only works in the row that it's been placed in, just so you know. So I'm gonna go and save this now. And again, we didn't configure anything, it's so easy to do. And there we go. Now, if I go and exit the visual boulder, oops, I need to make sure it saves. Okay, exit the visual boulder. And now we'll take a look and see what that did. Okay, so let's see. And there you go. Now you have one extra tool in your belt without having to add any CSS yourself, you can easily stop those pesky modules, rows, columns, whatever from stacking and have your layout look pixel perfect just the way you want with Divi Engine and Divi Mobile. All right, guys, that's been Roby with the Divi Engine team. Like, subscribe. If you're not a customer yet, definitely check us out. There's a bunch of links in the description with some discount codes and stuff. We would be happy to have you as a customer. So guys, that's been Roby, Divi Engine. I'm out. See you later.